made for emergencies. This external defibrillator automatically diagnoses potentially life-threatening heart problems and actually treats the person if necessary. A miracle of modern technology. Here in Asia in particular, there isn't enough defibrillators and it's about accessibility. It's about having them nearby and then also changing people's perception of that's a piece of medical equipment, can I use that piece of medical equipment without formal training and the answer is yes. This offering in the hospital equipment zone at the HKTDC Hong Kong International Medical Devices and Supplies Fair 2016 is from a new Hong Kong entrant among more than 260 exhibitors offering a full range of equipment, technology and services. Hong Kong, I think being a very international city, uh, presents some great opportunities for expansions not only within the Asia, Asian area and into China, um, certainly with China on our doorstep. We've developed some very unique technologies in Australia, a digital app which we use for first aid training, and we see Hong Kong as an opportunity to start broadening those IPs, those technologies, into those countries. Look, it's been fantastic given it's the first time we've actually attended the show. We've heard quite a lot about the show from a number of clients that have been here before, so testimonials are always a good way to indicate whether it's a successful show. This year, the fair welcomes group pavilions from the Hong Kong Medical and Healthcare Device Industries Association, also from Shenzhen, as well as featuring the first pavilion from Pakistan. Exhibitors are grouped into 15 specific product theme zones. Among the many household medical products on show is this simple but ingenious nasal irrigator for ear, nose and throat specialism by a first-time exhibitor from new participating country, Sweden. This is Jossli. It's a completely new Swedish innovation for social snorers. It's a dermal patch that you hook up your jaw angle in this way, like this. Push the jaw forward and then anchor over the chin and nose. Airborne allergy is increasing and also air pollution is increasing. So it's a, it's a special need in Asia. The Hong Kong Fair is a very professional fair. I've been visiting here for two times before and I wanted to introduce this to the Hong Kong market now. I think it's ready for it. The many products and services shown at the fair also include this conception-based presentation in the Building Technology and Hospital Furniture Zone, whose sole distributor in Hong Kong is locally based Janli Limited. The numbers of dementia patients are growing disproportionately, hence the concept of a dementia-compatible room to help patients reduce worry and frustration. You can reduce by a home-like environment the side effects of dementia, so the people living with dementia, when they are sleeping at night, they are waking up and getting scared and they want to leave the bed. And trust me, if they want to leave, they can leave. And as soon as they are trying to leave the bed, the system is showing the signal and the nurse is coming and we don't have the fall. We are uh, proud to work with our partner here together and to offer our product. Uh, here at the exhibition and so far we received a great feedback. Innovation at the fair is accompanied by a wealth of knowledge at seminars, forums and a networking event. Cheers. From the fair's co-organizer comes valuable advice on top trends in the industry and why the HKTDC Hong Kong International Medical Devices and Supplies Fair is the place to be. From this exhibition and this fair will be more and more product will coming through like this one and they are more monitoring and keep on those information and then real time and fit in through the cloud and then the uh, internet of things. I can see that for the last two years and also this year as well, you can see different research institutions in Hong Kong and also universities. They come up with some new ideas, new technology. A lot of companies will come here and look at the, what is coming up, what is the new trend, what is the new technology. 